Welcome back. This video is to showcase some effects that you can use in your songs using the set effect function. So I already went ahead and added a sound in my digital audio workstation. It's pretty plain so you can hear the effects on the sound. So let me close the sound browser and open the curriculum. You're going to click on reference and every effect explained in detail. So here you can see that there are 16 different effects that you can use. I'm going to show you three examples. First example, we're going to look at delay. So delay is similar to an echo. And so whenever you click on an effect page, you're going to have the title, which is going to be the name of the effect and then a table with the different possible parameters. For each line, you have the parameter name, its description, default value, and then very importantly, the minimum and maximum value. So let us try something. Um, I'm adding a set effect here under my fit media. I'm placing it for track number one because the sound I have is on track number one. And I want to use the effect delay. So let me type delay. The parameter that I'm going to choose is delay time. And the value is the amount in milliseconds that the original track is delayed. So the minimum that I can do is zero milliseconds, so we won't hear any echo, or 4,000 milliseconds, so four seconds. We are going to try 500 milliseconds and let's run the code. So here you can see that under track one, there's a new line that's been added with delay, delay time. And let's hear it. So you can clearly hear an echo. Depending on the amount of delay time that you've had, it's gonna sound more or less good. But if we try, for example, 300 milliseconds. You have something completely different. So you can go ahead and test different values for your delay time and see which one you prefer. Okay, so now let's move to a different effect, the pan effect. Panning is whether the sound is more to your left or to, the, to your right. So you might want to use some headphones for this exercise. So um, instead of delay here, we are going to write pan. So for the effect name, you just need to look at the title here. So pan, and then the parameter, we have the parameter left, right. So let's use this one. And so the value can be between minus 100 and 100. So I'll try minus 100 so you can see what it sounds like. Can you tell that it's coming from your left ear? And now let me try 100. You should hear it coming from your right ear. And so I'm going to show you how to use this with the other set effect block. So remember, there are two set effect blocks, one that has four parameters and one that has seven. So let's use the seven parameters one. So we're still looking at track number one using the pan effect, using the left right parameter. And then we're going to move from the left ear up until the right ear. So effect start value is going to be minus 100 at measure one. And then it's going to be 100 at measure five. And then when you run the code, you're going to see that there's the slope here. And when you listen to the music, you should be able to hear it move from left to right. So the third effect that I want to show you is the bandpass filter. So this is going to make your music sound either with a higher or a lower pitch. 
So let me do this that effect and add a new one. Um, so we're still on track number one. The effect type is band pass. And we're going to use the first parameter, band pass frequency. Okay, so. so the lower the frequency, the lower the pitch. And then the higher the frequency, the higher the pitch. So we can go from 20 to 20,000. Let us try 200. So it should be a pretty low pitch. Now let's hear the difference when we put in 2,000. So you have all the resources here to test the different effects. Um, you can use this curriculum to understand what the different parameters are and then just use a sound and try to see what the different values do.